Hello, and thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. Today's video will teach you effective methods for discouraging your cat from damaging your carpet. Watch this video through to the end. You probably know that scratching is a normal and even beneficial activity for cats, but did you know that most cat owners will find their cat friend clawing at the carpet at some point? I have everything you need to keep your cat comfortable and your carpet intact. A cat can be readily distracted from the carpet with any one of a variety of tempting alternatives. This video will teach you how to distract your cat's attention away from the rug by providing it with more desirable alternatives to scratching. 1. Build a scratching post for the cat. It is important for the health of your cat to provide a spot for him or her to scratch. Just let it go, your cat will always have the compulsion to scratch to keep their claws in good shape. If you provide scratching posts in every carpeted room, though, they won't damage your carpet. Treat your cat when you see them using the scratcher properly to encourage them to continue doing so. As cats are known to enjoy a good backstretch, it's important to choose a scratching post that is both robust and tall enough for your cat to fully stretch out when using it. Scratchers should be placed near the cat's sleeping area or the sections of the carpet that are most frequently scratched in order to divert the cat's attention and make it easily accessible. Cats often scratch carpets because it's more convenient for them to do so. 2. Provide a variety of scratchers. If you want to find out what kind of scratcher your cat prefers, try out a few various sizes and shapes. When a cat isn't interested in using a vertical scratching post, a horizontal scratching surface is a great option. Many of these scratching posts double as beds and were made specifically for cats to relax on after scratching. A cat scratching post with an odd shape or one that hangs from the ceiling might also be a good alternative to the standard scratching post. Alternate the materials you use. Cardboard, carpet, sisal, upholstery, and other materials can all be used to create scratchers. When offered a choice, your cat may go for something you least expect. 3. Coat the scratching post in catnip. Scratchers scented with catnip might prevent cats from damaging furniture and carpets. Spray some catnip on the scratcher if repositioning it in a more favorable area isn't enough to attract your cat's interest. Doing so will increase the scratching post's attractiveness and encourage your cat to use it instead of the carpet. In the alternative, you might use Felliscritch, a device that simulates cat pheromones to entice cats to the scratching post. Cats can be enticed to the scratching post by hanging toys from it. 4. Keep your cat's claws trimmed. Due to the fact that cats need to constantly scratch to keep their claws short, regular trims are beneficial. When trimming your cat's nails, be sure to hold its paw gently and reward it with a treat after each successful cut. Don't cut the solid pink part of the nail called the quick, where nerves and blood vessels are located, instead, focus on the white, somewhat clear area. When your cat is calm and asleep, the sound of the nail clippers won't frighten them, and you may easily trim their nails. If you're not comfortable cutting your cat's nails, a groomer or vet will do it for you for a given price. Because it entails cutting off the very end of your cat's claw, declawing is a painful and needless procedure. Remember that there are more humane methods of cat scratch prevention and avoid this practice. 5. Cover up the carpet. Block off the area your cat likes to scratch with some furniture or other barriers. If your cat continues to scratch furniture or walls despite your best efforts to redirect them, it's time to take drastic measures. If you notice that your cat has a favorite region on the rug for scratching, you can discourage him from using that area by covering it with furniture or installing a horizontal scratcher. 6. Spray the carpet with a citrus scent. In order to keep your cat off the carpeting, try spraying it with an anti-citrus scent. Cats have extremely sensitive senses, and fortunately, there are a few pleasant scents that cats dislike, but people like. You can spray the carpet with an unpleasant-smelling citrus spray or something else that will discourage your cat. The market offers a number of cat repellent sprays, some of which were developed specifically to combat cats. Cats also have an allergy to the scents of peppermint, lemongrass, and lavender. While you might not notice much of a scent, your cat would be able to detect it for days. 7. Redirect the cat with fake pheromones. You might treat the affected parts of the rug using a substance that mimics pheromones. The release of pheromones can also trick your cat into thinking that another cat has already claimed the rug, forcing it to back off. Likewise, plug-in diffusers that mimic hormones can help relax your cat and lessen the likelihood that it will scratch. 8. Clean the carpets. 
Cleaning the carpets frequently can reduce the likelihood of a cat returning to an area that has been previously occupied. This also applies to obvious scratches that a cat can remember and revisit later on. Spots can be easily removed by washing them with clean, cool water and soap, so there's no need to go to extremes. When you're done, you can use a pet odor neutralizer to make sure it doesn't have any lingering kitty scent. It's best to avoid applying ammonia and vinegar or other cleaning chemicals near the region, as they may encourage your cat to notice it. 9. Keep your cat calm and happy. Reduce your cat's stress with playtime, pets, and attention. You can keep your cat happy by giving it plenty of attention when it behaves, providing it with fresh food and water, and playing with it every day. This will prevent your cat from destroying things out of boredom or worry, which can happen when they want to spend more time with you. Cats naturally have a strong instinct to hunt, so it's a good idea to get them toys that will stimulate this natural urge. Even if you've covered the essentials, introducing a new cat to your household might still cause anxiety. Your cat will have an easier time adjusting if you introduce them gradually. 10. Make sure each cat has their own space. Each cat should have its own scratching post. Keep your cat's scratcher next to where it sleeps, so that when it wakes up it can use it to stretch out instead of wandering around. Cats prefer their own space, so provide them with a separate area to clean their claws. Your cat may avoid you and go find a scratch on the carpet if it has to compete for your attention. 11. Train new kittens to use scratching posts. If you provide your kitten with an alternative scratching surface, she won't learn to scratch the rug. Teaching a kitten to utilize a scratching post before it becomes a problem for your carpets is possible, since cats learn through experience. Scratching posts should be out and toys or a spray of catnip should be used as early as possible to encourage your new kitten to use it. All cats have a natural instinct to scratch, so it's not a question of if, but rather where your kitten will scratch. 12. Get nail caps for your cat's claws. Putting nail covers on your cat is a painless and non-invasive technique to prevent injury caused by sharp nails. These flexible vinyl tips can be attached to your cat's claws with nail cap glue. Nail caps allow your cat to continue using their natural clawing behavior without leaving behind any marks. Caps should be changed every four to six weeks. If you're not comfortable doing it yourself, a groomer or veterinarian will be happy to put the nail caps on your pet's nails. Nail caps are not recommended for cats who spend time outdoors since they remove the cat's primary form of self-defense. Nail caps are harmless to cats, although not all cats have the same experience. Some cats may have difficulty using them at first, while others catch on quickly. Let your cat adjust to them over the course of a few days. I earnestly believe that this video has helped you learn how to keep your cat from damaging your carpet. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and you'll be among the first to know whenever I post a new video. All of this is really appreciated.